Hologic presents a video guide to the collection of male urethral specimens by clinicians using the Aptima Unisex Swab Specimen Collection Kit. Note that the patient should not urinate for at least one hour prior to specimen collection. Start by discarding the white cleaning swab. It is not needed for male specimen collection. Now remove the blue swab from the package. To avoid contamination, do not touch the soft tip or lay the swab on a surface. If the soft tip is touched, laid down or dropped, discard it and get a new Aptima Unisex Swab Specimen Collection Kit. Hold the swab, placing your thumb and forefinger on the middle of the shaft so that they cover the score line. Do not hold the shaft below the score line. Now carefully insert the blue swab two to four centimeters into the patient's urethra. Gently rotate the swab clockwise for two to three seconds. Next, withdraw the swab. If the soft tip is touched, laid down, or dropped, discard it and get a new Aptima Unisex Swab Specimen Collection Kit. While holding the swab in hand, unscrew the cap on the transport tube. Do not spill the tube contents. Do not pour out the contents of the tube. If the tube contents are spilled, discard and replace with a new Aptima Unisex Swab Specimen Collection Kit. Immediately place the swab into the transport tube so the score line is aligned with the top edge of the tube and carefully break the shaft. Discard the top portion. Do not puncture the top of the tube. Do not break the shaft above the score line. Do not cut the swab. Do not fold the swab in half. Do not insert score line below the top edge of the vial. And do not push the swab to the bottom of the vial. Now tightly screw the cap onto the tube. A barcode label should be placed on the tube so that a quarter inch of space appears above and below it. Do not wrap the label around the tube or place it diagonally or adhere it too closely to the top or to the bottom of the tube. Urethral Specimen Collection by Clinicians with the Aptima Unisex Swab Specimen Collection Kit. To learn more, visit HologicWomen'sHealth.com.